Beryllium lymphocyte proliferation test. What is this test? This is a test done to identify lymph nodes, lymphocytes which are sensitized by beryllium. So, the lymphocytes which are sensitized by beryllium are identified by this test. Now, coming to the next important occupational lung disorder that is berylosis. Berylosis is also known to cause acute manifestation, but then such cases are very minimal. Most of the berylosis cases are because of chronic occupational lung disorder. And one interesting point related to berylosis is that they have a strong association with HLA DP B1. So, you can see this uh, HLA variant in 80 to 90 percent of the patients who develop chronic berylosis. But its diagnostic utility is very limited because 40 to 50 percent of the patients, I mean normal population also may have this HLA variant, HLA DP B1. So the presence though it is strongly associated with berylosis does not give us a diagnostic edge. We can't rely on, on it. Just like other forms of pneumoconiosis, even berylosis is associated with significant latency period. So, a minimum of 20 years latency is seen after initial exposure till the manifestations of symptoms start appearing. So, this berylosis also typically resembles sarcoidosis. This resembles sarcoidosis. So, on, on presentation, these patients may be asymptomatic on one end of the spectrum or they may have progressive cough and other respiratory manifestations suggestive of respiratory failure. Just like sarcoidosis, when you do uh, imaging test, what you will find out is that these patients have mediastinal adenopathy, mediastinal adenopathy and they have granulomatous lung lesions, granulomatous parenchymal lesions. So, on imaging, it will be very difficult to distinguish berylosis from sarcoidosis. But if you take a proper occupational history and you demonstrate that these patients had exposure to beryllium, you may be able to substantially prove your diagnosis. Apart from that, you can do something known as beryllium lymphocyte proliferation test. What is this test? This is a test done to identify lymph nodes, lymphocytes which are sensitized by beryllium. So, the lymphocytes which are sensitized by beryllium are identified by this test. So, if you have a context where someone is having pneumoconiosis or a chronic lung condition which is resembling sarcoidosis, you have a radiological evidence supporting possibility of sarcoidosis, there is a history of beryllium exposure and you confirm that these patients have beryllium sensitized lymphocytes, then your diagnosis of beryllosis is kind of confirmed, right. So, this are these are the points you should know about occupational lung disorders. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.